Hey guys. Okay. So I wanted to come to you with a couple things today. Um, this weekend we just had a mastering diabetes retreat and it was a phenomenal success and we focused on low fat plant-based living and through that reversing um, the type 2 diabetes, um, decreasing the insulin use for type 1 diabetics, um, also working with people who wanted to lose weight and we had one member lose 11 pounds in four days which was just phenomenal. Um, just watching the blood glucose levels drop, watching the excitement on people's faces, it was just unreal and um, nothing like it. So inspiring to watch the uh, excitement and uh, the commitment that these people had because in reality, they showed up and they learned the lifestyle, but they actually are the ones that have to put the food in their mouth and not put other food in their mouth. And so it really does come down to their effort and their commitment. So it got me thinking. Uh, it also comes down to our effort and our commitment. And one of the things that I talked about at the conference was emotional eating and different triggers that we have. Uh, to emotional eating and one thing I, I touched on was not eating for other people and I just want to do a little encouragement challenge uh, to you all to think about who do you eat for? Do you eat for you and do you fuel your body for you or do you eat because somebody gave you something or somebody expects you to eat the food they prepare? Um, when you show up to a party and you're offered cake or ice cream or whatever it may be, um, you have a choice. You don't have to take that and ingest that into your body and live with the, the side effects and the different health effects that that will bring on later. You have a choice to say, you know what, thank you so much, but I think I'm going to pass. So many times we have the wrong mindset. We think, oh, we're being deprived or, oh, we're going to offend somebody. So then we just kind of fall into the rut of eating for other people. So I want to encourage you and challenge you this week to really pay attention. Who do you eat for? Do you eat for you? Do you eat the food that's going to nourish and satisfy your body at the cell level? Or are you eating for the pleasure of somebody else, to please somebody else, to make them feel better, to make them feel not guilty, um, to satisfy whatever it is that you think they need from you? Instead, think about what type of food do you need to put into your body to feed it, to fuel it. And so um, I just want to encourage you with that and challenge you to pay attention and to really choose the food that you desire to put in instead of somebody else desires. And on that note, making sure that you get enough fruit, like these delicious persimmons that I got here. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet fruit, and we got this papaya, okay. This papaya is, doesn't look so pretty, does it? But the inside is going to be wonderful. It's nice and ripe. We got some bananas, okay? Making sure you get enough sweet fruit, calorie-dense fruit in your diet um, so that you're satisfied, that you're satiated, and that it's meeting your nutritional requirements at the cell level so that you feel full and that you um, feel energized and that you're thriving. And so I want to encourage you with those two things, and I will talk to you soon.